everyone, Josh here. So today we're doing a quick video on checking and charging your accumulators on ILS suspension for 8,000, like 20 series, 30 series, and 8Rs. Um, as far as the tools and stuff like that, it's all the same for like the 7,000 and 6,000 like suspended front axles. Um, but as far as like relieving the hydraulic pressure and charging pressures, uh, that would just strictly be the ILS in this video here. Um, so as far as charging it, you need a few special tools that we'll go over here now and then uh, actually get to doing it. So the whole reason I'm making this video is kind of to help somebody in the future save a trip to the dealer as far as charging these accumulators. Um, so as far as like tools that you need, you need your accumulator, I guess, which isn't really a tool. Uh, you're going to need compressed nitrogen and compressed nitrogen only. Don't use any other gases. And then you're gonna need your accumulator charging kit. So the deer part number for it is JT03515, but that's about a thousand dollars. Whereas a generic accumulator kit is a lot less from any online retailer. Uh, the main thing you need to know is you need to make sure that your kit has an M28 by 1.5 adapter, which that's what this bare tool is. And then it's got all these other ones in here that I'll probably never need. So anyway, so this accumulator charging kit, basically that hex is going to slide into there, spring loaded like that. And then you thread that collar onto there. So then it's just going to charge around that screw and charge your accumulator up. So you're going to need to use your six mil to crack this loose thread your tool on, and then you can use this hand thing to open and close that under pressure. And then this releases the pressure that's held in the tool here. So I'll do a demonstration here shortly. Um, next up, we're just gonna go over the accumulator. This accumulator is the top one, which would be the rod end off of an 8220. Uh, the 20 and 30 series, it's gonna be really hard to check because it's straight off the block. You got hoses and rads and everything right here. Uh, the base end which is the bigger accumulators are underneath and you can get them kind of flopped down enough to be able to get your tool on um, so you're gonna have to release the hydraulic pressure which the 20 and 30 series the valve block would be underneath here it's got a little twirly hand holder thing that you can release the pressure the suspension will drop and then you can check the pressure um, the eight r's they have two different screws you have to change or you can go into the sfa 21, I think it is address to release the pressure. Um, the pressure has to be released or else you're going to be getting 12 or 1300 PSI because you're going to have hydraulic pressure acting on here yet, upping the pressure of nitrogen. So pressure has to be released. Once your pressure is released, you can actually check the nitrogen charge in here. So you're going to crack this loose. If there's just a little bit of oil that dribbles out, then it's a good chance that there's no nitrogen in here and it's just dribbling hydraulic oil out. Uh, Deer says a little bit of oil is normal and also 50% of charge or more, it's still considered okay to recharge. 50% uh, or less than that, you should change them. But these uppers are 800 bucks a piece and the lowers are $1,800 a piece. So you can make that decision. If it's got any nitrogen in it, you might get another year out of it or you might not. So this is the one liter upper and at room temperature it should have 363 psi so that's at 20 degrees celsius which would be 70 degrees fahrenheit uh, the 2.8 liter lowers which are the lot bigger ones they are 653 psi at 20 degrees celsius or 70 degrees fahrenheit so we got this on that set screws cracked in there with, with your six mil um, this back lever on this accumulator charging kit, you're going to tighten this up. And then it's just this one here is the hex that goes on to your accumulator. So you're just cracking that loose. If you had pressure, your pressure gauge should come up right now. This accumulator is obviously flat, that's why it's here. Um, and this is going to be a terrible example, but my nitrogen tank is actually empty. I was doing AC work. So... Basically, with this cracked loose like this, you'd open up your nitrogen tank, which if I had any pressure, that should go up. Which 
you just heard that bellow move. <laughs> so there's some nitrogen in there, but not enough to get that pressure gauge up. So basically, if you get that up to your desired pressure for whatever accumulator you're working on, you basically tighten that back down. The pressure is going to stay up until you crack this fitting here back here, and then that should release the pressure in the tool. And then you can just loosen this off. And she's would be charged if you had nitrogen.